everybody, it's Patty, Rockstar Mom, and welcome back to my channel. Well, today, as you can see from the channel, I'm going to talk to you about a winning combination that I have found that is really working for me when it comes to skincare. If you're interested, stay tuned. Now, this video is not about my entire skincare routine, but it is about two products that I've been using for about a month and a half, and I can definitely, and I mean definitely, tell a difference in my skin. And I really just ignored the emails because I had tried phytoceramides in the past. I'll provide a link somewhere on the screen here or in the description box about uh, a review I did of a Dr. Oz show talking about phytoceramides and my experience with them. And my experience was not good. Uh, this was a couple of years ago. I uh, researched them. I chose a brand. I used it for, oh, probably two or three months, and I absolutely could not tell a difference. I thought maybe, uh, just maybe, I, uh, my skin was too old. I'm, I was probably 70 at the time. I'm 72 now. So I thought, well, maybe my skin is just too old. Phytoceramides are supplements that you take, and they cause your body to produce collagen from the inside rather than something that you put on your skin topically. So in the, over the summer, I was getting the emails, and finally... I decided I was just the only way I was going to get around it was to reply to the email and let them know that I had had a bad experience with phytoceramides. But if they wanted me to try their brand and if they were willing to have a very honest review on them, then I would do it. So they sent them to me. They are the Link Beauty power phytoceramides that's the bottle 30 and I immediately started taking them. but I told you that this was a combo of products that I've been using let me show you what else I've been using at about the same time that I accepted uh, the phytoceramides I saw a video from Susan of Little Poet where she raved about the rosehip oil. And I'd heard people talk about rosehip oil before, but never with the passion uh, that Susan displayed in that video. So I have to tell you that before the end of the day, I had purchased some rosehip oil. Now, I could not find the brand that she was using locally. So I did order it off of uh, Amazon. And again, that link will be below. But she was using the Aura Cassia, C-A-C-I-A, uh, Restoring Rosehip Oil with Vitamin E. And this is the one. What I did is, as it turned out, I started using the rosehip oil with the vitamin E on the very same day that I started using the Link Beauty Power Phytoceramides. The same day. Many of you who have watched me know that when I try any new product on my skin, I always use it only on one side of my skin. And I've been doing this for as long as I can remember. Anytime I purchase a new product myself, or if I'm reviewing it for someone who has asked me to review a product, I always only use it on one side of my face. I never tell anyone which side of my face I'm using it on, but I always, always, always test on the same side of my face. So, uh, th that being said, I 
knew that, especially with using the phytoceramides, it was going to be very, very difficult to know whether or not I was seeing a result just on one side of my face. So because of that, I used the rosehip oil all over my entire face also. So every day now for about a month and a half, I've been using the rosehip oil and I've been using the Link Beauty Power Phytoceramides. And I did not think anything about it until about two weeks ago. And two weeks ago, I was putting my makeup on one morning and I did a double take. Here's what happened. I normally wear bangs because I have these deep forehead lines and wrinkles. I've had them for many, many years. My mother had them. My daughter has them. They're definitely hereditary. So I have these forehead lines, but what I have also, and I've had them for a long, long time, many years, are I have lines coming down the sides of my face, right in the area of my eyebrows, and they're deep. What that means is when I go to draw on my eyebrows, and I have very blonde eyebrows on the tails from the arch out, that there's hair there, it's just very, very pale. So I have to pencil, you know, that in. And for as long as I can remember, when I pencil that in, or even if I use another application, I have to deal with a line on both sides that's right there. And what happens when I pencil it on is I can get very good until I get to where I go over that line or that wrinkle. And it because it goes across that line or wrinkle, it makes an indention and it makes a jagged mark. That's why you always see me with either bangs or hair on the side of my face because there's always a line, uh, an eyebrow pencil line going across the wrinkle. That morning, about a week and a half, two weeks ago, I was putting my eye makeup on and I went to draw my eyebrow on and realized that that line was smooth. Not complete 